As you may all know, Pep Guardiola has a liking for a certain kind of dribblers. It's one of the reasons why the citizens splashed out 100 million pounds to get Jack Grealish from Aston Villa after a sensational season for the Englishman in the 2021 season. With the departure of players like Raheem Sterling and Riyad Mahrez, the need for another dribble-happy wide player at City was imminent. And in order to fill that gap, the club have enlisted the services of Duracell dribbler Jeremy Doku. What? Wait a minute, who? Jeremy Doku, wasn't he the same youngster who turned down a move to Anfield twice in the past? Yes, of course, he was an exceptional talent at Anderlecht, who Liverpool FC tried to sign in 2018, but opted to sign for Stade Rennes, from where he moves to the blue side of Manchester. Jeremy Doku has impressed everyone with his trickery style of play, pace, shooting, and passing abilities since arriving from Rennes in the summer. With the Belgian national side experiencing something of a transition away from the old set of tired players into embracing the new generation, Doku is very much at the forefront of that change. Doku effectively ended the season as the best young attacker in the league, and for all of those reasons, he commands a fee that corresponds to his qualities and his potential. It's also worth noting that there is a real dearth of quality when you look at right-sided wingers currently available. Doku is potentially among the very best. Jeremy Doku's potential success at a club like Manchester City could be attributed to several key skills that align with the club's style of play and requirements. Here are five interesting skills that make Doku flourish at Manchester City. Let begins with his strongest assets, that is his pace and dribbling abilities. With a speed of 19.57 meters per hour, which has been compared to that of Kylian Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. The Belgian flash, as he is called, is one with excellent vision and great crossing ability. Doku's electrifying pace and exceptional dribbling ability make him a perfect fit for Manchester City's style of quick, intricate play. His capacity to accelerate past defenders and navigate tight spaces aligns with City's emphasis on fast, fluid attacking movements. In a team that values transitions and counter-attacks, Doku's speed and ball control could add a dynamic dimension to City's offensive play. To put Doku's penchant for dribbles into context, last season he ranked 14th for attempted dribbles across Europe's top five leagues, which is impressive but not nearly as impressive as being third for successful dribbles overall. Doku is a hugely dynamic player on the ball, and his low center of gravity helps him in various situations in and out of possession. In his debut season for Rennes, Jeremy Doku completed a total of 110 dribbles, which was the highest number achieved by any player aged under 23 in Europe's top five leagues, emphasizing his dribbling prowess. In the same season, he left a remarkable mark as he shattered a record for successful dribbles in a single match. His 12 successful dribbles in a game eclipsed the previous record held by Brazilian star Neymar. Moreover, in the 2022-23 season, he embraced the number 10 shirt at Rennes, signifying his pivotal role within the team. It was no surprise that Manchester City swiftly recognized his potential. Doku's grabbed international attention for his ability to carry the ball with confidence and style. During the 2020 Euros, the then 19-year-old featured in Belgium's quarter-final 2-1 defeat to Italy. Despite the result, Doku completed eight dribbles, a record for a teenager in the history of the competition. For his former club Ren, Doku set a new league record for most successful dribbles in a single game, completing 12 against Bordeaux. Another mind-blowing thing about Doku is that he can serve as a versatile attacker with technical prowess. Been a versatile attacker, he is proficient on either wing and capable of leading the line. His capacity to outmaneuver defenders, create goal-scoring opportunities, and find the back of the net renders him an unpredictable threat to teams. His technical skills, marked by exceptional dribbling skills, close ball control, and swiftness, make him a formidable player in one-on-one -on -one situations. Could you believe even Kylian Mbappe once said of him while speaking to France football in 2021? Recently, I was speaking with my father about a player who impressed me because of his speed qualities, that is Jeremy Doku, at Rennes. 
In five years as a professional, I have never seen someone from a standing start demonstrate so much power. Manchester City often employs a flexible tactical approach, with players required to adapt to different positions and roles within a match. Doku's versatility allows him to play on either wing, adjusting to the team's needs. His ability to seamlessly transition between positions provides valuable tactical flexibility for the manager, making him an asset in a squad that values versatility. The Belgian is comfortable playing wide right or left and is a joy to watch not only because of his dribbling prowess, but also because of his two-footed nature. In one-on-one -on -one situations, he can go either side of the defender, which makes him dangerously unpredictable. This unpredictable two-footedness makes him especially useful against teams that sit back in a low block. Doku is able to drag markers away from their defensive lines and in doing so, creating space for his teammates around him. As a football fan, have you noticed when a player is able to create space in the opponent 18, what next will you expect? Yes, you guess right. Goals. Doku, goal-scoring instincts is magnificent. While primarily known for his wing play and creating opportunities for teammates, Doku has demonstrated a knack for goal scoring. His goal against Portugal in the UEFA Euro 2020 showcased his clinical finishing ability. At a club like Manchester City, where goals can come from various positions, dribblers of his ilk are usually erratic with their output. The touch can be a bit too heavy, or the final product can be a letdown. Those concerns are less apparent with Doku whose first touch is excellent and even better is his decision-making in attacking areas. Doku's Premier League journey has already seen him etch his name in the history books. At 21 years and 161 days old, he became the youngest player in Premier League history to record five goal involvements in a single match. This phenomenal feat included the opener and four assists in a resounding 6-1 victory over Bournemouth earning acclaim from fans and Pep Guardiola. Following the match, Pep said of the Belgian, he creates something for the crowd. When he takes the ball, everyone gets excited. Me too. He is also the youngest player in Premier League history to provide four assists in a single match. This remarkable achievement tied the Premier League record for most assists in a match. The Belgian has shown the output you would expect from his talents scoring six goals in the league last season, whilst averaging 0.53 non-penalty, expected goal involvements per 90. The goal and assist tallies from him will no doubt improve in the seasons to come, but his greatest asset will always be his one-on-one -on -one ability and ball carrying. Talking about ball carrying ability, let dive into Doku's pressing and defensive contribution. Manchester City places a strong emphasis on a high pressing game, winning the ball back quickly and regaining possession. Daku's work rate and defensive contribution, both in terms of tracking back and pressing opponents, align with City's system. His ability to contribute defensively without compromising his offensive output could make him an asset in City's pressing style. Knowing when to retain the ball or when to take a risk in going forward, the Belgian is one step ahead of the opposition. League One is a highly physical environment to play in, and especially more daunting for a dribbler, but Doku is comfortable in absorbing challenges and is capable of executing at a high level even under seemingly immense pressure. Defending Doku at times means that opposition teams are having to double up on him, which creates room for his teammates whose movements he is able to find more often than not, will delicately weighted passes. Another thing I want you to understand about Doku is his ability to turn on the ball away from pressure and carried into space. He can be lightning quick in execution of his dribbles and equally his tackles as well. Doku's ball carrying ability and the progressive nature of his style of play is evidenced in the numbers. A whopping 7.6 progressive carries averaged per 90-minute last seasons, as well as 4.97 progressive passes on top of that. All this statistic will not have been possible if not for his great abilities to adapt to the team. So how well has he adapted to Pep Guardiola's philosophy? What I have noticed about Pep Guardiola's coaching philosophy, it revolves around possession-based play, 
intelligent movement, and technical proficiency. Doku's technical skills, combined with his football intelligence, help him adapt quick to Guardiola's system. His ability to understand and execute complex tactical instructions, coupled with his natural flair, make him a player who has begun to thrive under Guardiola's guidance. If I tell you age is just a number, you need to believe that because Doku's work ethic is renowned, he tirelessly strives for improvement, dedicating himself to rigorous training and relentlessly refining his skills. But it's his phenomenal speed that sets him apart. His explosive acceleration and top-end velocity allow him to outpace defenders and capitalize on open spaces, making him a constant counter-attacking menace. Doku was once labeled the Belgian Flash by talent scouts. The talent is there for all to see with Doku, but if the Belgian Flash can translate his electrifying style of play into Guardiola's elite-level setup, then it might be game over for fullbacks. Jeremy Doku's unique set of skills, including his pace, versatility, goal-scoring instincts, defensive contribution, and adaptability to different tactical systems, make him an intriguing prospect for a club like Manchester City. If he can seamlessly integrate these qualities into the team's style of play, he has the potential to flourish and make a significant impact at the Etihad Stadium. Keep your eyes peeled for Doku on the flanks, blink, and you'll miss him. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.